Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 books that you have to read during quarantine, the best motivational books out there, all of my favorites. We're going to talk about them today. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Stick around for all the quarantine content. The first book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Whenever someone asks for a self-help book recommendation, this is the book. I give them this book is so good I reread it at least once a year if not more it's all about how your small daily habits can really add up to completely change your life in just a few years I cannot get enough of this book like I said I reread it all the time it just really shows you the importance of making small daily changes in your life for the better I absolutely love it, I highly recommend, and it's pretty short, so it's a really quick read. If you're a Grey's Anatomy fan, Scandal fan, How to Get Away with Murder fan, this book is for you. This is Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, the creator of all those amazing TV shows you love on ABC. And this book is about how she completely changed her life by agreeing to say yes to more things for an entire year. I think this book is super important because it shows like people who you might think have it all go through their own struggles as well and yeah it's just a really good read it is a bit longer but it's a really quick read still it's like a very light hearted book highly recommend the next book is one i don't have the physical copy of but it is flip the gratitude switch by kevin clayson i did a whole podcast episode basically based on this book because i read it a few weeks ago completely transformed my outlook on life especially now during quarantine you can get it on kindle unlimited i have a sign up link you get free credit i get free credit you get a free trial you can read the book for free i absolutely love kindle unlimited like can unlimited sponsor me because i love it this book is all about how gratitude can completely change your life and how choosing gratitude in even the smallest moments can make a big impact the next book is one that i've seen go around a lot on instagram and youtube recently and it is to hell with the hustle by jefferson bethka this one is a little bit more religious if you're not super into religious self-help books then this might not be for you but i think you can read it still and like take what you want from it. Um, I don't always agree with everything in the books I read, but I take from it what I will. This book is all about slowing down and ditching the idea of the hustle culture. While it is good to be hustling and productive sometimes, sometimes we really need to slow down and recharge, and this book gives you really good insight into that. Next book is from the queen herself, Michelle Obama. Her book, Becoming, is so so good politics aside you really get to see how much her life changed from being like a small girl to where she is now it also talks about a lot of kind of behind the scene things that you wouldn't know about the white house or like the first lady and president not just her specifically in obama but just like in general what they kind of go through and the differences it's really really interesting and she just has a good life lesson in the book for you. The next book recommendation is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is definitely one I should reread right now because I could use some more creativity and inspiration. This book is all about creative living beyond fear, pushing back your fears, and living the life you want, being as creative as you want, and doing what you want. It's a good read, and also I love just Elizabeth Gilbert in general. Her book, Happier, is also a really good read. The next book is one I also don't have the physical copy of. It is Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. I don't think it's on Kindle Unlimited any longer, but that's how I read it originally. I'm sure you can still get it on Kindle if you want to buy the book. This book is all about his method of having a miracle morning. He has six different steps to having a completely productive miracle morning. I don't do all the things in his method like step one through six, but I do incorporate a lot of them into my mornings and I really, really like everything he talks about. I feel like if I actually did the whole miracle morning routine every day, my life would change even more, but just doing some of it has really made an impact on my life. Next book is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I just love the bright, yellow color of this. This book is all about how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. This is another one that I could probably do a good reread of right now, especially with quarantine. I have some extra time on my hands, so probably going to add this to my list, but this is just another super lighthearted, fun read and gives you just a little dose of inspiration for your life. I don't have the book sleeve for this book, but this book is called Educated by Tara Westover. This book 
is insane it's a little bit mind-blowing in this book she talks about her childhood like to adulthood and how she like lived in the middle of nowhere her dad was like crazy survivalist religious man and like they didn't really believe in education she was homeschooled but didn't really have an education and then she like taught herself enough to pass the act so she could go to school and how like she has educated herself throughout the years like i said this book is insane there's some things in here that just like don't seem like real life but it is all her true real story highly recommend this one super impactful read and the last book is girl wash your face by rachel hollis i know people have mixed feelings about her like i said earlier sometimes with books you just got to take what you can from it which i think is really what i did with this book there's some things i don't agree with but other things that i really agree with and feel like are important ideas to share overall just a super light-hearted read and will give you a little dose of motivation in your life also her book girl stop apologizing is another good light-hearted read during quarantine those are the 10 books you need to read during quarantine the best motivational books if you need some more inspiration and motivation in your life with all the craziness going on i highly recommend you read all of those books i will leave them all linked down below i just recommend downloading the kindle app and reading them on kindle right now because we shouldn't really be going out and buying things or trying to limit how much we order stuff online that's going to be it for this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave any comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new i'm trying to hit 2k subscribers by my birthday in june so help me reach my goal stick around for all the quarantine content thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one I'm not just, we were short it's been long